Feel free to boo me uh, or clap in between poems. We get um, our time's brief, so I'm not going to talk too much. This is a poem I wrote while hungover walking down Young Street. Ah, uh, Toronto, my bereaved Marie, I, I loved you once. I loved you like Woody Allen loved Manhattan. Young Street, I can't say I hold that same sentiment today. We were of one flesh once. When I sauntered up and down you when I was younger, heaven was truly mine. Heaven for me was to be found in the very midst of you. Some of my fondest memories, some of my fondest, most cherished memories of the times I skipped slash cut class and wandered around you by myself like Diogenes with his lantern lit in the daytime in search of an honest man. With all, like, like Diogenes with his lantern lit in the daytime in search of an honest man. With only my allowance or hoarded Christmas and birthday money in my pocket if I was lucky. Sometimes even a joint. Like I said, heaven seen mine with all the people new to my rookie eyes the stores, the restaurants, the bars, and the scents made all the more sweet by the fact that I wasn't technically allowed to be downtown by myself. I felt like a Nazi looted Matisse and a headless <laughs> angel. Without wings back then, Young Street, I felt an emotion that is actually impossible to define. Is it truly better to be king for a night than a schmuck for a lifetime? The king of comedy for me, is one of the greatest black comedies of all time. Have you seen it? In your cruel, moist, indifferent palm, I commended my eternal spirit. Now the pleasures of this planet aren't enough. I was alone back then, Young Street. As I mentioned, I'm alone right now, although I don't want to be. Should I see a psychic? I've already passed three. What will you look like in 2063? What robust, exhilarating joy would have been mine, despite the fact that I'm colored, if I could have strolled down you in the year 1923? If quantum theorists are right, then everyone who has ever walked down this street, and anyone who will ever walk down this street, is walking down this street holding my hand right now. The sky is a brilliant baby blue without a single cloud. The sun is rising to its zenith. My mindscape is full of stubby arms reaching out of the cement, grasping for the charred skeletons of the constellations of stars. <coughs> Shut the fuck up, Young Street. Jihad me at hello. That was actually the actually the ridiculous headline that greeted me from the cover of today's paper. You know I'm not making this shit up. I am living. I have lived. I live like a deposed king and a beached whale. My glittering throat blazed like the berry of solace and a trinket of joy. Ah, Young Street. I just passed an aggressive panhandler hoisting up a cardboard sign that says need money for question mark. And I wonder how much money he'll get at the end of the day. What the fuck is with all the upcoming condos? What did you do to the big slice? How can you justify your outrageous cost of living? Why? Why are bats dying by the millions and bees by the billions? Why? Why are you dolling yourself up like a cut rate Times Square? It's 2016, my love. Tis the April of our prime. And I'm just strutting down one of the world's longest streets, which just happens to be you. Thank you. There. I haven't read since uh, the summer, but I think I kind of shook it off right there. Uh, I wasn't going to read this poem, but it's a 
just passed the second anniversary of the passing of the guy who gave me my start in performing, who saw something in me that I couldn't even see in myself. That's uh, Nick Beat, and that's one of the, this is one of the poems I read on his show, and that kind of got me to where I'm at right now. Um, this poem's called "A Free Jazz Poem for Joan Baez." After an encounter I had with her at Roy Thompson Hall. I'll probably retire this poem after this. It feels as if I knew you in a past life. You could have been my sister, enemy, lover, mother, girlfriend, ruler or wife. All I know is that you're definitely a kindred spirit. But I can't remember us and our families dying from the plague, us being crucified upon the most crookedest of crosses, whoring ourselves on the cobblestone streets of Malastrana. Prague, I don't remember the love and stimulating pain that we experienced outside the Dali Museum in Figueres, Spain, witnessing the tomato and bull fights through the eyes of a drugged and drunken baby's brain, clay labyrinthian coffin, green chrysalis black, the mysteries at Eloises, Facing the firing squad on a warm summer night, walking a radio around a strangled stick. The Garden of Eden, the black hooded executioner's shiny axe at the haunted Tower of London, concretizing liquid, wet leather, archetabasis. Wordless poems, us having blonde hair and blue eyes while living in Helsingborg, Sweden, the torture chambers of Venice, and the Middle East, us devouring bootleg liquor, gnawing hallucinogenic roots and berries, beaming up to an inaccessible land of Bergelmere, Sassuras, Oceanids and fairies, while picnicking in Central Park, New York in the 1320s, hiding from the pork. Moments of realization, really divining what sits on the other end of that fork, me telling you, if anything were to happen to me or if I was to go, don't forget me, Joan Baez, because even if I was trapped in the advanced stages of Alzheimer's, there's no way I could ever forget about you and our time as dinosaurs, leopards, insects, snakes, birds, monkeys, pandas, foxes, sloths, <laughs> elephants, butterflies, penguins, Neanderthals, bacteria, trees, and fish, and the extended time we spent as a dying kid's wish, you can't even remember rogue zookeepers in Auschwitz, Mesopotamia, the floating world of Japan. When the black ships came, the rouge the cure, misinvading our ravaged forests, and the exploding plastic inevitable, you can't even remember red clouds, white skies, silver waters, black sand, gold moons, us being lynched by the clan, crossing the Bering Strait, walking the plank, the basement is Studio 54, African tribal drums whipping us and our now extinct tribe into shamanic ecstasy at celebrations of prelogical existence. Thelonious Monk, Nigel Irwin in the Hollers, Darlene Shrug, Duke Ellington, The Stooges, The Doors, and Sonic Youth live in the flesh, Nick B, Brandon Pitts, The Lonely Vagabond, and the Renaissance of the 2200s, The Resistance. The human being of 1967, Pink Floyd's games for May, and that awkward life when I was the woman and you were the man. We've existed as casualties of the subhuman psyche since the very beginning of the idea of time. I have already squandered the platinum of our youth in this life. What do you think I'm gonna do to the blood diamonds of our future? Ah, <laughs> I can clearly remember the nebulous vistas of our lunar Earth, us self-exiling ourselves along the seashores of that other world, studying the heraldry of thin folk. David Bowie and Nine Inch Nails torn together in 1995, the St. John, St. Vetus dancing mania 1518, you dating Steve Jobs and Bob Dylan and you locking arms with me after your performance at Roy Thompson Hall. Thank you.
since I'm on uh, reading love poems, I might as well do this as well. I'll read a new one, or a scarce performed one after this. This is called uh, Ode Eliza Minnelli. I spray paint your image on the graffiti mural walls between Dundas West and Keel subway stations as a red-headed beggar girl crawls towards me on your knees against the backdrop of the copper metal chasm. With my black eyeliner I draw you as a crude stick figure on the smudged up mirror of a filthy public washroom. I finger paint you as the forbidden modern primitive wintering a tropical soundscape on my heart I scribble you in gold and silver and violet crayon on a pink piece of construction paper and magnet it on my parents' refrigerator and wonder if they really like it. There is no chosen race in nature. The droppings of last week's trip out are still scattered upon our floor. You stand, sandwiched alone here, whole, in a divided kingdom between heaven and earth, death and rebirth ready to flee away from me with Shelley's west wind. You stand, knowing that the elements in modern society destructive of the best qualities of human nature have been laid out mercilessly for insatiable eyes countless times. You stand, hands on hips, knowing that the wise words of the greatest souls who have passed through this terrifying place have fallen upon deaf ears. You stand for 30 years where only the Holy Ghost shall, shall come upon thee. All the infinite beasts of the feral fields yield to ye. She of the serpent woven skirt, your tattered robe is my whole fucking world. And I'm dying to see you shake it off. You are something that words could only character and diminish. I can't help but masturbate. Watching you make love to life. I look at you, young Liza Minnelli, and I see my destiny, my future. I think you're the load star and doomed salvation, the aromatic essence of green blood, red people smell when dead birds start falling from the sky, the incommunicable pain, soothing, transcendent bliss, the attack of the hunchback creep, the random attack of the nitpicking couch potatoes, the attack of the self-injures, the attack of the bull dyke heterosexual men kissing at picnic tables to the ills of spectators gathered, which may or may not include me. Massacre of liberty and children's toys. Let's impregnate the distorted music of complete silence with a single collaborative word. Let us go where the omens of the gods and the crimes of our enemies summon us. The die is now cast. Let's solve the mystery of the leaping fish with that fiend. Coke any day. Let's defile our chapped lips with the cold soul of a defenseless creature. Let's commit harakiri or do a heart crane. A timid painter's aggressive brush strokes. Interesting eccentrics from whom you can't remove your eyes. Looky here, Liza. I'm just a really lost guy stuck between the beginning and the end of a highly flammable good time. I'm just a melancholy star dancing across the sky of your new hotel room. The forsaken herald's radiant cry. I'm just the moody daughter of promiscuous intimacies and retro charm. I'm telling you about myself. Are you listening? I enjoy lawlessness, earthquakes, boneless bodies, ketamine, marijuana Kleenex, majestic performers self-destructing on the stage, like me, and bulging brides crueler than some asshole kicking a pregnant, five-body dog, unveiled monuments, and widespread disease, I feel that nothing could culminate in great tribulations. We are only now in the genesis of our unrequited love. I can't wait until we hit the book of Revelations. My father never gave up on a fig tree. Mute and glorious Hitlers, I came to you in search of the perfect winter boot, but found instead a summer sandal. I came to unannounce Jehovah's kingdom. Wilt thou help me? You see how I now can bring a poem back from its unrestless wanderings to exactly where the fuck it's supposed to be? <laughs> Everything is moving in stop motion. You have no fucking equal. To you, dear girl, there could never be a sequel. Our smoldering fire could ne'er cool to a fine ash. Ruthless tyrant, 
The very ideas of what it once meant to be women and men have been dramatically altered. What it means to be a human being is next. Would it be permissible for this miseducated alien to try your truth and beauty pill? Old age is savagely beating, beating, beating our fleeting beauty and youth to a bloody pulp. So we must make haste because we're all innocent little children infested with microscopic bugs being molested by the perverted hands of time. My last number is the poem I wrote while in tune on the subway. You notice how people just stand there, but you know their minds are working, but they all have the same fixed expression. <laughs> this is it. Aboard that packed subway train at rush hour, her face betrayed not one single emotion, but in her 40 printed head, she said, a hang glider got struck by a streaking meteorite on the morning after the night before I met you. On the morning after the night before I met you, I was spiritually conjoined to a Chinese boy. A Chinese boy whose eyes were gouged out by his beloved aunt. I was altered forever just before I met you. Baptized anew, altered forever by the intuitive hunch that I would find you. Doggy paddling in the scarred in every way by me. Sky of skulls smuggling unwanted vegetation to those of us living in blazing sweatshops, transfigured into a lone ziggurat of melting ice, yelling, Come, come and take a lick of one of our cones. Come, let us march against the powers of heaven and set black streamers in the firmament to signify the slaughter of the gods. Come, come strum your acoustic weapons all over our electric country. This music makes our legs feel like a field of wheat. But a disfigure of World War IV veteran and an underappreciated woman discover true love, beauty, and a magical transformation after moving into a small cabin on our sprawling estate but the, but the, but the pixelated pictures on your laptop screen, the earthling outside reality, the man who fell to earth, counting stars, altered forever by a replenishing infection that hospitalized a glamorously destitute couple, snowshoeing across the prairies in the late summer with a blissful, socially unorthodox, hypersensitive wastrel with a fascinating personality on the morning after the night before I met you. On the morning after the night before I met you, Crazy Horses warriors fought their last major battle at Wolf Mount. A bank robbery suspect was captured after he posted a picture of himself hosting a, holding a Star Trek Klingon sword and a submachine gun on Instagram before pulling a vi- the RCMP was probing serious new allegations of illegal lobbying by a former advisor to the Prime Minister. Roaming gangs of Chihuahuas were terrorizing the streets in Erith. 20 people were stabbed at a high school and put, squeezed by the worst ever drought in the state's history. California was dying of thirst and a timid sperm, spermatozoid was nervously awaiting ejaculate. A stupid chick more useless than parents who can't cook was arrested in Texas for dialing 911 repeatedly because she ran out of cigarette. Oh. Wednesday's unofficial pick six lottery numbers were 24, 12, si and a sea lion that befriended a rustic youth with Asperger's syndrome was happier than overprotective Russian, Italian, Arabic, Irish, Scottish and Zionist fathers finding out that their favorite, most doted upon daughter, is marrying some African-Canadian or mulatto dude, interrogating Socrates beyond our solar system, probing the furthest reaches of interior space. 
when my Mustangs almost got turned into dog food. On the morning after the night, on the morning after the, on the morning after the night before I met you. Thank you guys. Thank you.